Hi guys, welcome back to my and if this is your first time stopping by, this is the first time seeing this beautiful face, you are most definitely welcome. Happy new month, guys. So it's my birthday month and I'm really 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 excited about it. So if you guys don't know, my birthday is May 9th. I'm telling you guys now, in case you want to give me birthday gifts, I'm available for a gift. I'm just excited, even though we are in the fasting period, we're fasting, but I'm actually excited for my birthday. It's not like I'm doing it, I'm not doing anything. You know, it's just no, Alhamdulillah is a blessing to you know witness another year, our a new beginning and all of that. It is beautiful, it is amazing. So um anyways, so if you guys um want to send me a better gift, just um send me a DM on Instagram. Or even if it's money you guys want to send me. I know I can leave my account number in the description box or you can send me a DM on IG, okay? Show your girl some love. Like I'll be showing you guys so much love on this channel. I feel like you guys should show me some love on my birthday, okay? Show me some love. So we are just gonna jump right into today's video. I'm gonna be giving you guys a list of skincare chemicals because I'm, I'm kind of getting questions about oh, what, what kind of chemical can I add to my black soap that is LD, that is organic, that won't spoil my skin. So I decided to give you guys this video because I love you all, okay? I love you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, and please hit the subscribe button down below. I'm sure to the bell button so you get notified every single time I upload a video. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, is it just because of another YouTube video that I should go and wear makeup like this, okay? No, this is not just why I'm wearing makeup. I'm wearing makeup because I post makeup tutorials on my Instagram and I just finished filming this look. So if you guys want to know how I created this glam, then please head on to my Instagram at thatgirlsekina and go watch how I created this look. I'm not going anywhere, so I said just make this video and show off my makeup okay so the first um type of chemicals i'm gonna be talking about is a chemical chemicals that i actually talk about often on my channel which is alpha hydroxyl acid and bha which is beta hydroxyl acid so now alpha hydroxyl acid and beta hydroxyl acid they help um shed skin cell and help to exfoliate the skin they are basically exfoliant like if you watch my video where i talk about chemical exfoliant i basically I specifically mention alpha hydroxyl acid and beta hydroxyl acid i'm going to give you guys some example this ahas and bhas are exfoliant they have to get rid of dead skin cells therefore products will be able to absorb well into the skin so and i mentioned in that video where i talk about chemical exfoliant and um physical exfoliant i said chemical exfoliants are more advisable because they are gentle they are mild and they do the job perfectly unlike physical exfoliant that is abrasive and can be harmful can cause damage to the skin aha which is alpha hydroxyl acid and a typical and a very very popular example is lactic acid and citric acid i mentioned it in that video as well so if you want to understand this video more i guess you should watch that video first am i putting um the link somewhere is so or air so you guys go check it out the lactic acid is basically um the acid that's gotten from milk so i mentioned in that video that instead of using milk directly on your skin on your formulation it is advisable to use lactic acid because it is really really nice it is mild and it does the job it helps to exfoliate skin and helps to brighten the skin and get rid of dark spot same as citric acid citric acid is derived from citrus citrus fruit and it is amazing as well it helps to get rid of hyperpigmentation as well those are alpha alpha hydroxyl acid ahas now let's go to bha the most popular bha that literally everybody knows is salicylic acid salicylic acid is the holy grail acid like it is really really good on the skin it is mild although it is drying a little bit so when you use salicylic acid you want to use a um moisturizing ingredient you want to use ingredients that are moisturized so you know just get back moisture into your skin so salicylic acid is really good it helps to get rid of acne scars it gets it helps to get rid of acne itself it helps to get rid of pimples eczema rashes and all of that and it also helps to get rid of acne scars like like dark spots like hyperpigmentation like blackheads and whiteheads so um salicylic acid is like an holy grail in the skincare world like in the skincare industry salicylic acid is like one of the kings you know chilling you get me so that's basically what i'm going to talk about on ahs and bha just now ahs and bhs are exfoliant they help to get rid of dead skin cell to shed dead skin that is on the surface of the skin thereby allowing your skin to breathe allowing new products to be absorbed really well into the skin thereby you know fresh glowing skin okay if you're using lactic acid you can use lactic acid in your 
moisturizer your face cream your oils your serums and all they can even make elastic acid toner you can make elastic acid serum they are really really nice it comes in every kind of product same with salicylic acid you can use them as well in any product the second um set or the group of chemicals i'm going to be talking about is buffers buffers are basically chemicals that are used to balance or neutralize the ph level of your product if you saw my video again where i talk about ph and ph balancing i have that video if you are new here please check out all my other videos so you can always catch on when i make all these videos because i always refer to my past videos so if you want to understand my channel you have to like kind of like watch my videos of <laughs> subsequently so you get the gist so bubbles are basically like i said they used to ne neutralize your um product i mentioned in that video where i talk about ph balancing that whatever skincare product that is actually water-based skincare products has to be balanced the ph has to be balanced in that video i broke down everything ph of the skin ph of your product ph of product should be between 4.5 to 6 that kind of a thing i i mentioned everything in that video so buffers are basically um chemicals or solutions that are used to balance your ph like if you have a product and the ph is too high we have a buffer that you used to reduce the ph to the normal ph and if you have a product that you just finished from listening and the, you test the ph and the ph is too low that there's a buffer that you can use to neutralize the ph or increase the ph now uh, examples of buffers are sodium bicarbonate which is baking soda so baking soda is used to increase the ph of your formulation if the ph of your formulation is too low you can use baking soda to increase the ph of your formulation another example of chemical that you can use to increase the ph of your formulation which is a buffer is lye solution lye solution is basically a solution of sodium hydroxide and water so that is also another chemical that you can use as a buffer to increase the ph of your formulation now still talking about buffers and still talking about ph balancing another kind of chemical that you can use is the chemical that i mentioned before which is citric acid and lactic acid which are ahas ahas can also be used as buffers to decrease the ph of your formulation if you have a formulation that you just made and the ph is too high and you want to neutralize the ph you want to reduce the ph to the normal standard ph of skincare products you can use lactic acid um, solution against you can acid solution as well i hope you guys are getting along and getting understanding what i'm talking about now moving on to the next we're going to move on to skin lighteners i know that this is the one that a lot of you guys are here to you know to hear and to tap into skin lighteners um skin chemicals that help to lighten the skin and all that jazz you guys have been on my case on this particular basically skin lighteners are product that are used to treat the skin to brighten the skin to lighten the skin organically and in a healthy manner they are not like ash chemicals that would you know or just bleaching chemicals and all of that no these are chemicals that will help you to lighten and brighten basically um to lighten your dark spot type of pigmentation maybe um sunburn to help to lighten sunburn or maybe you've gone through stress and your skin is getting a little bit you know dark you know what i'm talking about if you are someone like me when i'm too stressed my skin gets like become a little bit dark so these are um are chemicals um that help to you know rectify that problem we have alpha um alpha apotene we have the kojic dipalmitate we have sepia white powder we have snow white powder you guys have heard if you are familiar with skincare products or skincare formulation you have heard a lot of this um um chemicals you've heard about kojic acid kojic dipalmitate alpha abutin sepia white powder um snow white powders so that those are basically um chemicals that help to lighten the skin and they do this by basically lightening the skin like fading dark areas brightening the skin and i think i mentioned in one of my black soap videos that alpha abutin you don't you should not add alpha abutin to your black soap because it will basically not do much in your black soap the other formulations the other ingredients in your black soap will kill the work of alpha abutin so alpha abutin is best used in water-based products like um 
moisturizers um you know cream body cream face creams and all of that like alpha butin would work wonders in creams while for black soap you can either use kojic dipalmitate you can use sepi white powder you can use kojic acid and i also want against kojic acid because kojic acid is not very stable so you can actually lose the stability in your formulation so if you're using kojic acid in your formulation i would advise you use kojic dipalmitate which is also called kojic dip dip means dipalmitate you can use them in your black so on your soaps generally and every other one like there are a lot of lightning powders the tazanic powder um alpha apatin you can use them in your moisturizers your creams and all of that so the next um category i'm going to be talking about are antioxidants now we're getting to the juicy 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 part of this video they are antioxidants i know a lot of you guys be in antioxidants 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 are basically anti-aging um compounds or anti-aging substances that is they they slow down the process of aging of the skin period like we can't always explain more than that so i'm going to give you examples of antioxidant or anti-aging um chemicals we have niacinamide which is a very very popular one and i've talked about it a lot in my videos niacinamide amazing amazing um chemical niacinamide is a really nice um chemical and it helps to you know it helps to um, tighten your pores it gives you that glow you know that useful glow it helps to reduce the aging product there by your um the aging process there by your skin will continue to be you know glowing and bouncing like a baby zone basically so another example is vitamin b3 amazing amazing like most of the vitamins basically vitamin b3 vitamin c vitamin e they they are anti-aging and they help to slow down the aging process. they help to close pores like it helps to tighten your pores it is very very important for an elder skin you to aim for elder skin like when your, your pores are tight your pores are not too close not too open that is one of the signs of elder skin and vitamin c vitamin b3 by vitamin e will do that for you thereby to help your skin to look youthful and to help you glow now another one that i'm going to talk about okay, up near back <laughs> anyways um we're going to talk about the next one which is l glutathione it's also an antioxidant we are all of us are here on glutathione 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 i know a lot of people believe that glutathione is a lightning agent or a lightning chemical it is but it is more an antioxidant than a skin lightener but glutathione will help give you that youthful glow your skin will be glowing your skin will be fresh you know and when your skin is fresh your skin is glowing it will appear to be brighter it will appear to be lighter and people are like oh you're looking good yeah because you got you got the gist you, you are using the real deal you know you're not using all these nonsense you know the real deal and you're using the real deal so glutathione is also amazing it's an anti-aging enzyme as well i mean substance so the last but not the least i'm going to talk about in today's video i'm going to be doing a part two for this video because there are loads like loads of skincare chemicals like loads of category that i can't talk about everything in one video so um the last but not the least i'm going to talking about is preservatives preservatives you guys preservatives there is no video that i post that i would not hear which preservative is best which preservative should i use what preservative are you using how to use your preservative what is this what is that yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. anyways i'm here to answer your yeah, 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 and your no 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 so preservatives obviously like the name implies preservatives are substances that helps to um keep the longevity or to improve longevity longevity of your product hi english english is a problem Preservatives help to improve or increase the longevity or longevity, what's the English, of your skincare products. It helps to preserve it from contamination, from damage, and for going bad. It basically prevents the growth of microorganisms and contamination of your products. Period. I cannot speak my English more than that. So I hope you guys are, are getting the gist. You guys are grabbing my magist okay now examples of preservatives the one that i use most often if you pay attention to my videos is optifine plus i use optifine plus a lot 
it is stable it doesn't like it doesn't lose its stability and that's what you want to look for in um preservatives because if you have a preservative that loses stability when it gets into your product it might lose stability and then your soap will start turning or your cream or your whatever the product will start changing color or it will become liquid liquid to liquefy or it starts to smell and all of that because the preservative is not stable and it has lost the stability now optifine plus is one that i can vouch for that i use a lot another one that i've tried once i just remember i've tried it once is liquid jamal plus i think there's um solid jamal plus but do when you use preservative i would advise you to use liquid preservatives they are better to measure and they are better to add okay liquid products are easier to measure than solids okay so liquid jamal plus is also an amazing preservative so you guys should know that whatever i talk about in my channel is something that i've tried before something that after my research on like i don't like to be complex i don't like to just start giving you guys 20 example or 50 example if there's only two examples that i know and i'm sure of, that's the only two examples i'm going to mention so in preservatives i'm only mentioning optifem plus and jamo plus which are amazing now how do you use your preservative in your formulations me personally generally i use one percent of preservative in whatever i'm doing whatever i'm doing if it's, be it soaps be it black soap be it um face community beads moisturizers be it toners whatever whatever requires preservative i use one percent preservative like out of 100 percent of the whole formulation i use one percent as preservative now when i say one percent i don't mean you can measure one meal and put it inside preserve um, your products no for example you are doing 500 gram of maybe black soap now that 500 gram of black soap one percent of that 500 gram is what you are going to measure for your preservative so i'm not gonna go get into like mathematics right now if you guys want to like i don't know if you guys want to do a video on how to calculate percentages uh percentages or how to convert meals to percentage or percentage to meals then let me know in the description box below because that is like another video entirely that's a different explanation entirely how to convert your milligrams to your percentage or how to convert percentage to milligram because a lot of skincare recipes will come in percentage so it is up to you to convert that percentage to milligrams to know the actual uh, measurements you're going to take in your formulations so when i use preservative like i said i use one percent preservative in at most i use two percent so that is it for today's video i guess but that is um the skincare chemical actives i'm going to mention in this video if you want the part two of this video part two where i mentioned other chemicals and other things but like we have different ones we have surfactants we have umectants we have different categories of chemicals so if you guys want me to do a video for that then let me know in the, in the comment section below if you guys like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you have subscribed to my channel be sure to the subscribe button down below i'll be sure to hit the bell button so you get notified every single time i upload a new video till next time bye